The Pyramid in the Mountain In the heart of Mexico, an ancient wonder more than 2,000 years old looms large, dwarfing even Egypt's famed Great Pyramid of Giza. This is the Great Pyramid of Cholula, a colossal structure largely concealed by the mountainous terrain it was built within. Shrouded in mystery, legend attributes the creation of this engineering marvel to a mythical race of giants said to have roamed Mexico centuries ago. This colossal monument, stretching 1,500 feet in width and reaching a height of 220 feet, harbors a labyrinth of tunnels stretching five miles beneath its surface. It's the largest pyramid ever constructed by volume, and some consider it to be the largest monument ever crafted by human hands. The temple complex contains many distinct buildings, each possessing unique historical, archaeological, and spiritual attributes. The largest of these structures are La Conejera, the Pyramid of the Painted Skulls, and the Pyramid of the Nine Stories. Beyond these central edifices, courtyards, altars, outbuildings, and decorative surfaces dot the landscape. These surfaces once bore vibrant Aztec murals, a colorful invocation of goodwill and fortune from the gods. Astoundingly, most of the pyramid is crafted from adobe bricks, a blend of mud, sand, and straw, baked solid under the sun. Mexico's arid, dry climate has served to preserve these bricks, maintaining their strength and integrity over millennia. The Great Pyramid of Cholula is not considered to be a single structure by some, but a series of six or more pyramids built on top of one another, each the contribution of another civilization, designed not to replace the pre-existing monuments, but to preserve them. Over the centuries, archaeologists, explorers, and anthropologists have endeavored to unearth the secrets held within this monument. They seek to understand its origins, peeling back layer upon layer of its construction. Yet, despite their efforts, they have been unable to reach a consensus regarding the identity of the original builders of this monument. The Giants Aztec mythology describes a race of colossal beings towering far above human stature, known as the Kinametsin. These imposing giants, credited in some texts with the monumental achievement of constructing the Great Pyramid of Cholula, are said to have exceeded 10 feet in height and weighed over 600 pounds. According to Aztec lore, the giants inhabited the Earth during an era known as the Sun of Rain. However, their failure to appease the gods led to their downfall. Divine retribution was swift and merciless, raining down a catastrophic flood from the heavens that annihilated these colossal beings, among other punishments. The mythology highlights the story of a single giant, Shelwa, who managed to evade the punishing flood by scaling the neighboring Mount Tlaloc. As the waters retreated, Shelwa descended, and in a bid to calm the gods and ward off another disaster, he erected the Great Pyramid of Cholula. His endeavors eventually elevated him to the status of a deity, where the Aztecs recognized him as one of seven giants, symbolizing different parts of the Milky Way. The narrative of the Kinametsin also fascinated Spanish missionaries who arrived on the shores of America with the mission of spreading the gospel. They had heard of vast buildings of biblical proportions, as well as of a Goliath-like race of people. Spanish conquistadors, including philologist Andres de Olmos, recovered bones that appeared to be human but were far greater in size. One bone was believed to be that of a Kinametsin foot, the toes of which were each the size of the palm of a human hand. The Spanish accounts align with the Aztec belief that the giants had built the Great Pyramid of Cholula, with the invaders struggling to fathom how such immense structures could have been created by the natives, whom they incorrectly considered to be too primitive. Modern science, however, has never found any substantial or reliable evidence of giant humans, and the huge bones recovered by the Spanish were likely those of animals. The Aztecs Much of the Great Pyramid of Cholula was built by the Aztecs, a Mesoamerican culture that reached incredible heights between the 12th and 16th centuries. Their capital was the city of Tenochtitlan in modern-day Mexico City. The Aztec Empire proliferated, developing a complex and sophisticated system of multi-ethnicity cities, politics, and economies. By the standards of the post-classic period, they were technologically and culturally advanced, with an elected government and social classes featuring nobles, warriors, farmers, and slaves. Their temples played pivotal roles in Aztec life, and the Great Pyramid of Cholula was widely recognized as a spiritual hub for Aztecs in this part of Mexico. A highly spiritual culture, the Aztecs worshipped multiple gods, and they are well known to have partaken in human sacrifice, often spilling great quantities of blood and presenting human hearts to their deities. While serving as an active religious site, the Great Pyramid of Cholula was also constantly under construction. Built over a series of phases over more than a millennium, 
the pyramid evolved into the largest of its kind in terms of volume. Curiously, the earliest parts of the pyramid significantly predate the Aztecs, with initial construction likely beginning around 300 BC. The question of who initially embarked on this monumental endeavor and whether they envisioned such grandeur from the outset remains shrouded in debate and mystery, sparking intrigue among scholars and historians alike. The Spanish Invasion At the dawn of the 16th century, the shadow of Spanish conquistadors, led by Hernán Cortés, crept over the horizon of the Aztec civilization. Worn by hunger and marred by sickness, they'd spent endless months embroiled in battles against fierce tribes, all in an endeavor to impart their ideology onto the uncharted landscapes of America. Their journey led them to Cholula, which Cortés deemed the most beautiful city outside Spain. Unprepared and unarmed, Cholula stood vulnerable. The Aztecs, with unwavering devotion to their gods, firmly believed that divine intervention would shield them from these foreign invaders. Tragically, their faith would prove misplaced. On the 12th of October, 1519, the Spanish forces made their violent entry into Cholula. The next three hours saw an unforgiving massacre that claimed the lives of 3,000 inhabitants, a staggering 10% of the city's entire population. Such bloodshed was beyond anything the Aztecs had previously witnessed. With the city subdued, the conquistadors indulged in widespread looting. Religious relics of significant value and precious artifacts fell into their possession. Yet, the Great Pyramid remained untouched initially. Being over a thousand years old and covered in dense vegetation, it was likely overlooked by the Spanish. How this mighty pyramid came to be so buried still puzzled historians. The most accepted theory suggests a gradual burial over an extensive period resulting from natural occurrences like floods, volcanic activity, and vegetative growth. However, an intriguing alternative theory persists among some researchers. They propose that the Aztecs, foreseeing the arrival of the conquistadors, entombed the Great Pyramid themselves. The Spanish invasion ultimately wiped Aztec culture from the face of the earth, leaving nothing of this once rich and vibrant civilization but their temples. Excavations and Legacy Soon after establishing their foothold in the region, the Spanish explorers discovered the mysterious subterranean tunnels and set about exploring the many layers of the pyramid. In a not-so-subtle declaration of military conquest and missionary triumph, the conquistadors boldly constructed a city within Cholula, including a Catholic church for each day of the year. Among these, a church dedicated to the Virgin Mary sits directly atop the Great Pyramid to this day. As a result, the Great Pyramid of Cholula still holds much religious significance, drawing scores of pilgrims each year. The Spanish additions to the site have turned it into a place of reverence in the Catholic faith, and it is often touted as one of the world's holiest places. Consequently, the Great Pyramid has earned the distinction of being the longest continuously inhabited building on Earth. Numerous archaeological excavations have taken place at the Great Pyramid of Cholula since, with Alexander von Humboldt, a German explorer who visited in the 19th century, describing it as, quote, the greatest, most ancient, and most celebrated of the whole of the pyramidal monuments. Unearthed within the subterranean depths of the complex are ancient murals, some depicting Quetzalcoatl, a deity embodying a feathered serpent. This discovery has led to the theory that the pyramid may have been dedicated to this deity at one time. Numerous excavations have revealed human remains, with over 400 burials traced back to the Aztec period. A chilling testament to past rituals, many of these burials bear evidence of human sacrifice. The excavation of the Courtyard of Altars, a central part of the temple, uncovered the bodies of eight individuals, including children entombed in ceramic pots. These specific burials are believed to be offerings to Tlaloc, the rain god, perhaps in response to a period of drought. Annually, the site attracts approximately 220,000 visitors, each free to traverse the coiling tunnels of this remarkable complex. Yet, the Great Pyramid of Cholula is still far lesser known than other pyramids in the world. Today, the Great Pyramid continues to be an active center of ongoing research, becoming the epicenter of the largest archaeological exploration focused on a temple or pyramid in the New World. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? Subscribe now to Dark Five's brand new Ancient Mysteries channel and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times.
Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.